Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas, and I just received this, which is a portable antenna for over-the-air television, and I have a USB adapter that goes into my laptop here that um, lets me pick up television. Let me try this first. Let me, let's see, go over here. Uh, let's see, I want to, I want to say play media source. Add. Uh, file. And it's on my desktop. And this is it, I think. No, that's not it. It's go down here. You see, I'm not prepared. Okay. Uh, okay, I want to show you the uh, <coughs> setup here. I use my laptop. I, all I have is a laptop. I use it as my computer. And right here is the TV device going into a USB port. Really, I recommend it go directly into the computer, not into a hub, but this thing, by the way, is very hot. And here's where the antenna connects to it. And what I'm doing right now is I just have this camera tripod here, and I set this rabbit ears up on top of it. And you don't need to extend the antenna very far because the frequency is very... I need a short antenna is all. So what I'm going to be doing is as soon as the delivery comes today, I'm going to be replacing this antenna with a uh, different antenna. And this video, I'm going to be doing a little something different with this. So we'll see how this works. I think you'll see what I mean in a minute, but uh, anyway, here in a little bit, I should have a different antenna, and we'll see what kind of reception we get and how well it works. Thanks very much. Okay, that comes to an end, so let me, don't want to stop that, that would stop the, let me go to, Live webcam, no. Screen capture. Screen capture. Okay. I've got this. And if I can see, it uses battery or an AC adapter, but I'm going to put the batteries in here real quick. Plus and minus. Probably should not try to do this on camera like this. Okay. Plus and minus. There's a little switcher on the side for the antenna to pop up. I haven't got this base on here yet, but I think it is now. No, it's not. So anyway, we have the antenna part here. So what I'm going to do is, real quick, is the cable. There's a USB. Why is there a USB cable? I think you can power it off USB also. 
So I'm going to hook up the antenna real quick, and then I'm going to do a scan and let you watch that scan as it pulls in the channels. going to step out of that thing here for a second and I'm just connecting my rabbit ears from that device that you just saw and I'm plugging this in replacing the rabbit ears you know I probably don't need to do a scan I can just see what I've got if let me see if I can I'm going to set that up there and hope that it doesn't fall because it, uh, the bottom is about already to fall. Okay, it's sitting up there. There there we go. I was going to do a scan, but let's just try it now because the antenna is hooked up. I go over here to Win 7. Buffering. And your expert is Kate Snow, who's standing by. Kate, we got a live one in Christian. He's a art. Yeah. But let's try it and see. Okay. How can I stop these critters from calling me? How much? Looks good to me. Um. Tarde, les informa Adriana Rodriguez, el gobierno egipcio de. You know what I should have done? I think. If I remember correct. Them and made the decision that this is something that I would like to do for myself. Sure. Or one centimeter. And the nice thing about them is that they're. We we separate. Does she know? I'm gonna kill the sound. And I think if I remember correct, Win TV has a utility that shows. Whenever I'm doing a buffer, a saving of the screen, it slows my computer down a lot. Okay, Win TV, where are you? Nope. I hope it's even listed under. Let's see. Okay, Hossapod, whatever it is. Signal monitor, I think it's a signal monitor. Let's do that. Okay. Now I've got... Let me change channels here. I've got the sound turned off on the TV, by the way, just so... They change the channels and I can see the signal strength. Now I should have, but the signal strength looks good for all these channels that I'm clicking on. Yeah, I think this, uh, I think this antenna is a winner. There's that all sports channel, whatever. Not getting a strong signal on that. Let me change. You know, I don't have that. Well, I have it moved about as close to the... That's a good signal. Yeah, I think this antenna is a uh, 
Looks like a winner to me. So let me give you a look at this again here. I'll put a link to it. I got it from Amazon. And it's for over the air digital, you know, television. Let me see if I can shut this down. Let me see if I can shut the TV down. Okay. And let me see if I can, without disconnecting here, let me. Uh, shut down this then let me go here and do live webcam hey I'm big it's a uh, power HD 100 portable digital TV antenna it's very small so if you have a laptop computer and it's also uh, in Amplified compact amplifier antenna runs off batteries, or I think this is an AC unit. I believe, yeah. Oh, an AC unit, and it plugs in USB, you know, there and plugs into the thing to power it down. Like pretty neat. And uh, take advantage of free digital broadcast TV in your area, works with your existing cable ready HD. TV or USB tuner stick, which is what I have, and I bet your cattle or cattle your cable. So I wouldn't recommend that, but I don't have satellite compatible with analog TV. If you have a converter tuner box, compact antenna runs off multiple power sources. Uh, see, I could this thing is so small. I could just if I took my lap some some laptop, which I don't do. If I took it someplace, I could. Uh, Take this along and watch TV someplace. Uh, but I'll be using it here. And I'll probably be, well, yeah, I'll probably, I'll be running it off the, be running it off the AC. So, looks like a winner. I'll put the links. And I thank you for watching. And 12 minute video for me is a, a miracle. Thanks again for watching.